Hey guys, it's Kick Rocks, uh, clan leader of All Shall Perish. Um, just making a little uh, video tutorial for those of you, even if you're not in the clan, uh, just wanting to know how to stream video games. In this case, League of Legends. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do, obviously, is open up your internet browser right there. You're going to Google X Split. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to go here to the XSplit website. It should look like this. And down here, you're going to want to register. You know, enter your email, retype your email, answer everything correctly, your full name, the screen name you want for your, you know, account. Because um, you will have to log in when you launch the program. It'll ask you for username and password, but you can set it to sign up uh, or sign in, excuse me, automatically. So you enter your uh, screen name here, password you want, join now. It's very, very simple. Um, I don't remember if you have to do an email activation, but you may. You know, if so, just follow. The, it's really easy to sign up. Any of you, anybody can sign up. Okay, and then after you do that, if you've signed up and made an account, you download it. Go to here. Um, bam, click that link, and it'll start downloading. And then once you have that, okay, you're going to want to go to this place right here. Oh, excuse me. All right here. O W N, I spelled it wrong. Uh, but here's the website right here at the top. O W N 3D.tv. I always misspell it, not sure why, even though I knew I was misspelling and I couldn't stop myself. Anyways, you're going to go here to this site. Um, this is after you have XSplit and you've made an XSplit account and you have it downloaded and whatever. You go here, then you're going to go over to here. Click Sign Up. To do that again, you're going to fill out anything you want. Uh, you know, enter your email, enter the code here. Make sure you check this, then click sign up. Very simple. You may have to do email verification. I'm pretty sure you do. You know, just follow the easy steps to sign up. Okay. Now, once you sign up, you're going to log in. And once you uh, log into here, you're going to go to. It's my live streams. And uh, you'd click add live stream if there's nothing already here. See, for me, I already have one. All shall perish. It's already here. Um, if you want to add another, you'd click add live stream um, and add one. If, it, if Again, if there's on, only if there's not one already here, you'd go there. You'd add a live stream, then you fill out the information. See what that looks like. You request a live channel. Um, so it'll request for another live channel, but I'm pretty sure it starts you off with one and gives you the options to edit it, etc. Um, but if not, then you would go to add live streams and it requests for another live stream. Um, and then once you've done that, then you should get your live stream should be up roughly any, it could be anywhere from five minutes to five hours after you create your uh, account. Um, so sometimes you may not initially be able to start streaming right away, but you know, you also might be able to soon so you never know when it's really going to work it should it shouldn't take any more than like you know 30 minutes i think is what it took before i could actually start streaming um and i'm actually recording right now with xsplit for you guys um but uh what you would do is you would go down to edit channels you'd click that um and that'll bring up another window for you And uh, I will add some screenshots for those for those things um, for those steps. But once you go down to edit channels, it's going to ask you to add a channel. You that name it. It's going to ask you where you're wanting to stream it to. When you do this, you're going to select owned TV. Click that. Then once you do that, it's going to ask you to fill out information. Basically, what it's going to have you do is log into your own uh, account through um, XSplit. You're going to type in your account information. 
uh, your account name, hit tab, type in your password, then you hit tab, and it should automatically put your streaming account name in the um, live streams thing. Um, and then you're going to be good. Then you just go out and fill out all the little settings you want, like the quality and things like that, sound, it, that you know, those kind of things. Um, I would turn the buffer, the bitrate, and all that to 500 kilobytes. Um, but just the the buffer rate and the bit rate turn those to 500 kilobytes and um, the sound you want to go down and edit the sound uh it's sh it's like going to be a shitty one you want to turn the sound up to a uh, decent sound quality um and then after that really you're good honestly anybody in here can stream one thing you will want to do after you get that done is you'll want to go over here to view this is before you start broadcasting or anything go to view then you go to resolution and you will choose the highest resolution that it already has by default in here. You do not want to add any other resolutions. You want to just choose the default resolution. It should be something like 1280 by 720 or something along those lines. Okay, and you pick that one. Then you go to frame rate and set your frame rates to 20. For this video, I have them set at 30, but while you're in-game, you want them set to 20. Most internet cannot handle above 20 frames. Uh, reason being is I have a decent computer myself. I have an i7-980X Extreme Gaming Edition processor, um, and I have a GTX 460 Talentac uh, super clocked video card, and um, even I can't stream uh, much above 20 frames. I can maybe stream 25, but it gets joggy. It's just, it, that's based on your internet upload speed. So if you have good upload, then you can stream at higher uh, frame rates as long as you have the computer to handle it. So 20 frames. And once you're at 20 frames, um, it's good. You should also notice that I have a picture here and it shows my desktop and you do not. We'll get to that in a second. Um, so to add a stream window like I have in here, um, what you're going to do is you're going to click. You're going to make sure you're on scene one. I'm on scene two because I'm doing this for you guys. Um, you're going to make sure you're on scene one and then you're going to go add and then screen region. And are going to click screen region. And all you want to do is click your desktop. You don't want to click the window because if you click a window, it'll just show that window. You don't want to click this. You like how it's highlighting my uh, bar down here? I don't know if you guys can see that in the recording. Um, it'll highlight the individual window. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click the actual desktop. Make sure it's not an icon or anything, the actual desktop. And once you click the desktop, it'll add this bad boy right here, but yours will look like this. It'll be up in the corner, all small like that. I don't know if you can still see my X split window. And you're gonna, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your mouse and drag that window larger inside your X split window, and you're gonna drag it so it fully fills the entire X split window. Now, once you do that, it's gonna, everything's gonna be popping all out at you. Like there's gonna be, it's gonna look all fucking weird. There's like a tunnel, you know, shit tons of windows inside of X split. To fix that, go up to View, Scale Viewpoint, and put it at 50% and then it looks manageable like I have it here then it's not all over the place and shit's not freaking out okay now once you've done all that when all everything I've just told you you should be fairly ready to start streaming that's that should be about it for everybody um, a couple things I will go over is down here you have your mute microphone and unmute microphone that'll mute your mic only but not your sound um, this will mute your sound so like if you're on Skype or Ventrilo if you mute this they won't be able to hear anything your sound period um, Muting your mic will still allow people to hear your Skype and things like that, so don't worry about that. Um, also, uh, this does display uh, the the recording here. They use a um, a dual channel for recording sound, which basically means it records your microphone and your sound at the same time, and you don't have to use stereo mix. That's what's so great about XSplit. Um, it'll it'll record your Ventrilo and your Skype and everything. It'll it'll you know everybody can hear your sound but then they can also hear your microphone because on uh, if you use stereo mix like we use the old way to record and you use adobe flash media encoder you use that um you could choose stereo mixer as your sound and what stereo mixer does is it dis it plays everything you hear so if you choose that as your microphone you no longer have a mic so you can't talk but everybody who's watching your stream can hear everything that you hear so they'll hear in game sound and everybody talking to you they just won't hear you respond um, so that's kind of crap. So what this does is it kind of makes one sound driver and attaches your sound and your microphone to that driver and then uses that. Um, so it's really, really awesome. So 
Anyways, that's pretty much it. And then after you do that, once you have it all set up, you click Broadcast up here. Little drop down menu will come down, and then you click Owned 3D. And you click click it, and it'll start streaming. And it'll load up here. The red up here will change for a second. It'll say Streaming Live, and then it'll say, you know, Streaming Live, it'll say your name, whatever you have your stream name set as, and then it'll say how many viewers you have. Now that will refresh like every five minutes or so and it'll show you how many views you actually have. You have people watching it so keep that somewhere where you can see it. Um, but uh, make sure you have it minimized um, because if it's up while you have your game. Oh also one key element is your game must be in windowed mode. Um, so actually uh, you can get a program called shift window and what shift window does is it, ta you, it takes a windowed program. Here I'll show you. I'll launch it right now. What Shift Window does is it brings up this thing, this bad boy right here, and say you have LOL minimized. You have it in windowed mode, but you have it moved or minimized um, because you don't like the little window, how it actually has this, uh, it'll have a border, kind of like this, it'll have a minimize and X sign on the League of Legends window. It'll put it in window mode. A lot of people don't like that. So if you want to play it full resolution in windowed mode and not have that, you use this. Um, once you have the game in windowed mode, you'd go to Grab, You'd find League of Legends in your uh, programs here. It would say League of Legends or LawClient.exe or whatever. You find it in here. You click it, and you click OK. And then once you click OK, it'll appear right here in this box. Bam! It'll appear right here. And then you can go to three options down here. You can trigger the full window mode by hotkey automatically after a few seconds, or only manually. You can basically just do only manually. But once you found League of Legends and you click Trigger it. And what that'll do is it'll full screen League of Legends and it'll make it look exactly like it does full screened without the border, but it's still in windowed mode. So essentially it just stretches it to fill your whole screen perfectly even though it's in windowed mode. That way you don't have to deal with the crappy border and stuff and it looks better. It looks much better. And uh, so there you go. That's pretty much all you need to know. And remember, you can't stream unless you're in windowed mode which is one of the main reasons why you need a decent processor and video card in order to stream because you have to be in windowed mode. Some games allow you to stream in full screen because they use a different uh, render or something when they make the game and it allows it, it allows you to stream in full screen. But that has to do with game side, not this program. Um, so until they get a decent way that's you know not CPU intensive to stream in full screen mode, you have to be in windowed to stream. So get shift window to make your um, windowed mode look like full screen so you don't have to deal with the borders. Um, other than that, you should be set. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and post a comment um, on the uh, forums under this video, and that should be it. Also, you can ask me on Ventrilo. You should be on Ventrilo anyways. It's mandatory. So I'll see you guys in-game or on Vent or on the forums. Take it easy.